What is going on, Trash Talkers? We are back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to give you the real reason why Antonio Brown was kicked off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All that and much more coming your way right now! Hey Trash Talkers, over 85% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications as it will help us create more daily content for you. Thank you and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, yesterday was an absolutely wild day in the sport of football. Some upsets, some crazy games, a lot of blowouts, and, you know, congratulations, both of us. Uh, the New England Patriots are back in the playoffs after a one-year reprieve. We're back, baby. 50 points on the Jacksonville Jaguars. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today is all about Antonio Brown, kind of the way he likes it. But it's a little bit more about what we saw on the field, which is kind of weird, versus off the field. And on the field is going to lead to him being off the field for a very, very long time. Um, or is it? I guess that's the question. So, everybody saw the iconic, you know, him ripping off his his pads and everything, and Mike Evans trying to talk to him. That came from a fan spectating, with recording with their cell phone, and then you see the NFL footage where he's just, you know, hopping, skipping all the way to the locker room with just shirtless and, you know piecing the everybody at the stadium and then just giving them the the actual number one finger he did not flip them off it was just the number one uh but regardless that a lot of things transpired and i said to you when that happened something had to have triggered him now everybody likes to make jokes everybody knows that you know he's kind of a wild card and that he's a spark plug but something has to set that off there's nothing that just happens where he's just like yep yeah, i'm out i quit that, it, that He did not pull a Vontae Davis. He did not just up and retire in the middle of a football game. Something happened. So, I guess the question is, what did we learn since then that told us why Antonio Brown got to where he is? Yeah, so this was a very interesting situation. As you mentioned, all we saw was Antonio Brown ripped off his pads, took off his shirt, and then he fled the scene of the stadium during the Buccaneers' offensive drive. And that was all we knew. We were just left speculating, what happened? What happened? Well, it finally came out. It turns out Antonio Brown was told to go into the game and play, be a part of that offensive drive where he fled. And he said, no, I can't go in. I do not feel good enough. My ankle does not feel good enough to go back out there and play. And Bruce Arians then said to Antonio Brown, you either play for me, you either play for this team, or you get off. You're not a part of the Buccaneers anymore. So he said, okay, bet. I'm going to take off my stuff. I'm going to leave. And then we're going to have to deal with this later. And it turns out Antonio Brown did not want to go back into the game due to his injuries. He was then essentially kicked off the team right then and there. And he said, I'm going to just leave. I'm going to bounce and I'm going to go do my own thing. And the word will come out. And now it has come out. And I think this sheds a lot of light on why Antonio Brown did what he did. He was no longer a Buccaneer at that point in time. So what does it do him any good to stay on the sideline and just sit there moping the entire time, knowing that as soon as this game is over, he's officially off the Buccaneers. Why not just leave right then and there and make a statement? And now this puts all the blame now on Bruce Arians as to why you're forcing your injured player to go out and play for you when they don't feel comfortable getting out there. This is not the 1980s anymore when you have a concussion and you're putting your player back out there. We are now in 2022 where none of that is acceptable. You are not allowed to force your player back into a situation where they do not feel they are at full capacity to do anything to help you when they don't want to put their body at jeopardy, especially Antonio Brown, who's in his mid thirties at the end of his career. It, you just cannot expect somebody who's been dealing with month long injuries like an ankle that always reoccurs, always comes back, never fully heals. 
and you're saying, get back out there, go play for me, otherwise you're off this team. That it, It's such the wrong approach. And I'm, I've been someone who sucked behind Antonio Brown through all the shenanigans. This was almost the last straw for me. After everything that has gone on, I, I, I thought that I could support him, and, and this was going to be it until I realized that this was not fully on him. Bruce Arians was the major factor in this entire thing where he said, play for me or get off. And Antonio Brown decided this is not the guy I want to play for. And I agree. Bruce Arians is not a guy I would want to play for either. And I think this is going to hurt the locker room. I think this is going to have major implications moving forward as there's going to be a lot of other players that stand by Antonio Brown and say, why should I play for Bruce Arians who doesn't care about my well-being, only cares about the bottom line, and that's winning. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, and to back up what you're talking about, Ian Rappaport went on NFL Network and talked about how obviously we all know that AB has been limited with his ankle injury and he's he's had a couple of injuries that throughout the season that have hobbled him and, and kept him away from the football field. But uh, this is a quote from Ian Rappaport saying what he told the staff from what I understand is that he was not going into the game because in his mind he did not feel he was healthy. The response then from the offensive coaches and from Bruce Bruce Arians was, if you are not going to go into the game when we tell you to go into the game, then you cannot be here. At that point, they threw him off the sidelines and then cut him from the team. All of that happened before he took off his pads, before he made that statement run, you know, skip to the locker room. All of that happened on the sidelines, and that is the worst possible thing that you ever want to see from a head coach is cutting somebody on the sidelines you deal with that internally in the locker room you deal with that away from the fans away from the media you handle your business in-house and Bruce Arians is doing the exact opposite I don't think that Bruce Arians should ever be able to coach again I think the NFL needs to investigate whether AB was actually hurt or whether he was just trying to create controversy. And if he was hurt, they need to take serious action on Bruce Arians. Bruce Arians does not deserve the benefit of the doubt, especially when he has a history of kind of crossing the line with certain players. And Bruce Arians and AB know each other from their time in Pittsburgh. So there was a lot of mutual respect between the two of them. I'm not exactly sure where that went, but right now it's not looking pretty for either one of these guys. I I have to ask you, Nick, at the end of the day, I, I said that most of the blame falls on Bruce Arians, but do you see Antonio Brown being able to come back and play for any other NFL team ever again? Listen, I think a lot of the story still has to get straightened out, and we're going to have to really get to the bottom line here. But with Antonio Brown's age, with the history of his injuries right now, I don't see him getting onto another team before the end of the season, making a playoff run with any anybody else. But can he come back next year, the year after? Maybe. I mean, this guy is always in peak condition. This guy never takes a day off. He's always working and grinding to be in his best possible shape at all times. So you know he's going to be playing at a very late age in his career. He's going to be playing at a high level for a long time. You can always count on him to do to be there when he's fully healthy. But right now he's not. I just don't think that there is a path for him to play again this season. I do think that there will be other opportunities that arise for him down the line. It's tough for me because even though this may not be his fault, and even though there might have been other extenuating circumstances for all of the other things, after a while, there's one sole focus in every single one of those instances, and it's just Antonio Brown acting out, acting out in just a childish way. Did he have to handle being cut the way he did? No, he obviously was there to make a statement in an Antonio Brown fashion, but he could have easily just walked to the locker room and dealt with it in a much more professional manner, which would have negated any conversation right now about, you know, is he able to play in the NFL again versus, you know, maybe Bruce Arians needs to be fired and investigated for trying to throw players who are clearly injured into the game because he's scared about losing another football game to the New York Jets. I I think that there's a lot of issues here that we have to resolve. And right now, I I don't see another opportunity for Antonio Brown to come back into the NFL. I think he has just been the center of so much controversy over the last four or five years that it's just taken a toll on every NFL franchise. You think about 
everything he went through in Pittsburgh and the way he unceremoniously left there with Mike Tomlin and Ben Roethlisberger and everybody else over there. Then he went to Las Vegas, found the spot he wanted to go, and then got frostbite on his feet just so he couldn't play anymore. Then he goes to New England. Everything was great and copacetic. And then he had somebody who accused him of sexual abuse and, and you know everything else that went on there. Then he finally landed back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady, who housed him, brought him into the team, and helped them win a Super Bowl. Things were off to a shaky start this year in Tampa with Antonio Brown and Bruce Arians. Things got much, much worse, and right now it's not looking too pretty. All right, well, I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below if you believe that Antonio Brown will ever be able to play in the NFL again. Let us know if you think your team will ever sign him. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.